All right, we are starting off with 16, with eight ounces of our extra creamy Cool Whip in a bowl. Now I have some softened cream cheese and we are gonna get that whole thing right out and into our bowl. So it, perfect. Okay, now to get this a little sweet, we have some dark brown sugar. Light brown sugar will work just as well, but we just want like about one third of a cup of our dark brown sugar in there, make it nice and sweet. We're making a no-bake dessert, perfect for the holidays. If you just wanna throw it together and you don't have a lot of time. Oh yeah, and this is gonna give us a great color as well. Delicious. And since we only added one third cup of our brown sugar, we're gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar too. We're gonna add about half a cup of powdered sugar right in there, beautiful. This is gonna be so delicious and we're gonna give this a nice festive flavor. We're gonna start with some molasses. Now, if you bake, you know what kind of flavor we're adding to this. Mm. We're gonna drizzle that right on there. We don't need a lot because it's very strong. We're gonna use about less than a fourth of a cup, okay? Do not add too much. We have some cinnamon and we're just gonna eyeball that. But don't do too much because we have a lot of seasoning coming in here. Some ground nutmeg. Oh my gosh, doesn't that smell delicious? Uh -huh. Mm-hmm, smells so good. Yeah, perfect for the holidays. Some ground cloves. Beautiful, now if you don't like any of these, you can skip them. Do not hesitate to skip something you don't like. Now this is gingerbread flavored. So of course we gotta add our ground ginger, our last seasoning. Ooh, delicious, that looks so good. I'm gonna give this mm, one wow. fold. And then I'm gonna grab my hand mixer to do the, the dirty work. All right, let's get this going. This is gonna be a delicious gingerbread dip. Yep, a dip, you guys and it's gonna taste amazing. You don't have to turn on your oven to make this. It's gonna be super impressive because the flavors will taste just like a gingerbread. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like I just baked a whole batch of gingerbread cookies. Let's go a little bit faster because we want that cream cheese to have no lumps, okay? I softened my cream cheese for about two hours, so it should be good. That looks so velvety smooth. It's time to get this ready for the party. All right, we're gonna grab our little board here with a smaller bowl, and we're gonna get all of that delicious gingerbread flavored dessert dip into our bowl. Oh my goodness, it smells like Christmas. Oh, I just love gingerbread so much. Get all of that dip in there. Yummy, and I cannot wait to show you guys the options for dipping. Beautiful. Now we're gonna dress this up a little bit before we get our dippers. I have some Christmas sprinkles that we're just gonna throw on there to add some color. Look how pretty that is. Who doesn't want sprinkles, right? All right, and then so people know what flavor it is. We have some little gingerbread men that we're gonna just pop right on there for extra fun. Little fun never hurt nobody. Now time for the dippings. Now I don't know if this is obvious, but we have our little ginger snaps, Christmas themed with the red sprinkles. That's gonna be the best dip. We have the little chessmen cookies with their festive Christmas patterns on them. Oh my goodness. I have these little waffle dippers that you can break apart and dip into there. And then of course we need to be a little healthy. So we have some Granny Smith apples that I cut fresh at that, it looks so cute and so perfect for an easy dessert on Christmas Day. 
Now let's dig in. Of course, I'm gonna use the ginger snap. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Mm. Really good, you guys. Mm. You gotta try it. <laughs> 